Welcome back to another lesson for N2 Electrical Trade Theory. If you want to support this YouTube channel, all you have to do is watch this video to the end and to watch the adverts from start to finish. Now, this module seven will be broken up into two parts. In the first part, we'll be looking at three phase AC motors. Module seven contributes 8% towards the national curriculum. For the stator frame, it consists of the primary windings. The outer casing is used to protect the inner parts. The stator core is made of steel laminated sheets, and that is to reduce the effects of eddy currents. The three stator windings produce the rotating magnetic field, which is known as synchronous speed. The three stator windings could be connected in star, where it is bridged horizontally in the terminal box, or it could be connected in delta, where it is bridged vertically inside the terminal box. In terms of the rotor, it's the rotating part and consists of the secondary windings. We get two main types of rotors, a squirrel cage rotor and a wounded type rotor. For the squirrel cage rotor, it consists of skew rotor bars, usually made of aluminium, short-circuited by the means of end rings. They are mainly used for AC induction motors. They have very simple, robust construction with smooth and silent operation. It also requires very little maintenance. For the wounded type rotor, also known as the slip ring rotor, the rotor windings are connected in star to the slip rings. The slip rings are connected to external resistors, which allows for variable control speed. It is mainly used in cranes and elevators. And in terms of the advantages, it has high starting torque. High starting current can be limited and we have variable speed control thanks to the external resistors connected to the slip rings. What is the term slip? Slip is the difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed and is represented by a percentage and the symbol is S. How do we produce a rotating magnetic field around the stator? Three coils placed 120 degrees apart means that when current passes through the coils, they'll also be out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. Now the magnetic field set up by each coil is what is combined to produce the rotating magnetic field. And this rotates at synchronous speed. In terms of the principal operation of a three phase induction motor, the supply voltage is applied to the stator coils. The stator coils produce the rotating magnetic field. Then EMF is induced in the rotor, which causes current to flow inside of the rotor. And the magnetic field from the rotor interacts with the field from the stator. What are the advantages of three phase motors when compared to single phase motors? The biggest advantage is that three phase motors are self starting, smaller, cheaper, more efficient, and have a better power factor. Right, in this final section, how do we go about testing the insulation of the stator windings for a three phase motor? We use an insulation resistance tester, also known as a mega. We usually set it to about 500 volts DC, and then we'll hit the test button. First of all, we remove all the connections and connect the mega to the three coils and turns. For an insulation resistance test between windings, we should get a good reading of one mega ohm. For an insulation resistance test to earth, also requires a reading of one mega ohm at least. For an earth continuity test, you should get a reading of 0 0.1 ohms. And then finally, we get an open and short circuit test. For an open circuit test, the mega will be reading infinity or very high resistance. And for a short circuit, it will be reading a very low reading. Right, thanks for watching this video and for subscribing to this channel. Thank you.